Hello, my name is Caroline and I have the blog and the YouTube channel here with Scandi Mama and I've got a really exciting project to show you. These are my star patchwork curtains made by home dyed materials and uh, yes, they look awesome and I just, that was, that was so fun to make. So to make the stars you have to start with uh, some big squares, uh, some smaller squares and then some triangular shapes. So basically I use two different colors here and I have the triangles that I turn into squares as you can see. So first you have to do all of them, make them all into squares and those triangular shapes uh, made into squares that have to be the same size as the small square. And I'm not really good at doing it that detail so mine won't always fit but then I just kind of make it fit afterwards and, and that works for me. But you can find lots of tutorials online on how to make it kind of completely perfect. So here are all my squares and they have been um, ironed so they're nice and uh, flat. And now I'm sewing them together again next to each other, so two by two. And as you can see, and as I'm unfolding them, they kind of make out the stars tops or like the tops, the pointy bits of the stars. So I'm putting it onto the big square bit and then adding a different color on both ends of uh, one of them and then attaching it uh, or not attaching it yet. I'm just seeing how it works. And now I've got, now I'm ready to attach it because now I've got uh, some pointy bits attached. So now I can attach this long bit and yeah, it's, it's a little bit quick on this video, but uh, <laughs> lots of other tutorials that are much more slow online. But I just had to do this a little bit quick because it was a lot of meters of curtains. And uh, I still think this shows the technique or the kind of, yeah, the principle and how you make it. You can see here like the big square in the middle, the the squares made out of triangles and then the squares in the corners. And now I'm just cutting to make them more straight. And if you are really a patchwork, patchwork genius, then of course you would, you know, use a, a, a proper mat and like the cutting uh, blade tool. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just doing it like this. And I've also, of course, uh, searched all the pieces together and not actually stitched them with a normal sewing machine. And that's just because my serger is quicker. So I can't help uh, not using it, but just cleaning it up, making sure that it's a proper square uh, and it's ready to be stitched onto something else because that's basically how I did these curtains. I just made some some of these stars or suns, uh, whatever you would call them, in different shapes, uh, in different sizes, and then made lots of different uh, rectangles, different squares that I stitched together, and then again put them into long panels and yeah, stitch those long panels together. So it's like a really big job because there were so many meters of windows uh, that had to be covered with curtains. So I didn't make a proper plan to begin with. I just decided that I was going to make, I was just going to make some, some stars and then I was going to make some squares and I was going to see how they, how they matched up to each other and then just make it fit and be sure also to use the remnants for something, obviously. And that, that kind of worked out and uh, I ended up with all the curtains that I needed so yeah I must have done something right and I also wanted it to look kind of casual I didn't want it to look too perfect um, so it was kind of whole it was my it was my point it was my plan to just make it as make it up as I went along and then just expect it to be great without too much planning and it turned out that way um, actually when I when I put up the curtains I did move some of them around because when I had all the, I think it was six panels next to each other, I found that some of them matched better than others. And yeah, so I just kind of moved them around as I thought was best. Here you can see a lot of these long panels. I've made all these panels the same width, well, almost the same width, so that they would all turn into one window panel. Um, so basically just stitching a lot of long pieces together and cutting them so they match each other in width and then stitching them together so they would eventually be really really long and then yeah cutting off the extra bit on the side as uh, as I'm done with them and you can see I'm not I'm not ironing them as I go along I just stitch them together and then iron later and again somebody a bit more detail oriented uh, than me would probably iron every bit along the way but I 
I didn't and I actually also got these curtains done quite quickly so so that was of course really nice and there were also some big panels to sit with and work with and you can see like the big star that's lying here on the on the table it, it looks it looks really great but they were they were super big to work with there is uh, something really nice about doing patchwork in it's in it's in a small size because it's a lot more manageable but it was also fun working with these different uh, fabrics because a lot of well they were all hand dyed apart from a few of them that were kind of taken from old uh, dress shirts and yeah old materials I had but I had literally uh, dyed a lot of these uh, fabrics myself the yellow one was uh, from like a, a just a textile color dye that I did like with a watercolor effect and then there were a lot of natural dyes as well some avocado some different uh, green leaves and different things and it's just fun to to think about think of that when I when I look at my curtains and now I have gotten quite a bit done and I'm just stitching 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 uh, sewing them up and uh, looking forward to the big ironing job that's then gonna come as you can see here they're hanging on my uh, on my camera camera rack and they look pretty awesome I'm just showing you them now because I'm quite pleased with them and they have been ironed and they look nice and uh, then of course it was quite a big job to make sure they all had the same length all these uh, six different panels that they actually fit together and that one of them wasn't way shorter than the other and I also had to make sure when I got the curtain band on um, that they actually fitted in the window and uh, luckily they did could have been much much worse I don't plan very well and I guess sometimes I'm just very lucky that it still ends up being all right yeah and I remember this part of the process just being so happy with what it looked like because I thought all these fabric pieces were so beautiful I was really looking forward to to getting them up and they really did not uh, yeah disappoint and this is my sweet mum who is just helping me iron some of the pieces uh, and just cut off uh, threads that are in places where they're not supposed to be. And this is them putting them up and just being so, so happy because I could already tell how good it was going to be uh, because you see the sun come in behind and it almost looks like this kind of, yeah, cathedral window with the big uh, yellow stars and the blue. I kind of had this uh, Disney Beauty and the Beast uh, vibe as well from how how the light comes in through these panels. So very, very happy. And I, you know, maybe don't start with a six window uh, curtain panel. Something smaller could also do. But this was a lot of fun. So I wish you best of luck. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.